Hello, and welcome to my Breakpoint talk. My name is Andy. I go by Sol Andy on YouTube, and I create Solana development content. So I go through stuff like the Token 2022 program and just try and make it accessible for the masses. And today I want to talk to you about creating content. First, I'll give you a motivation. Why is it important that we create content? And then I'm going to give you a few tips on how you can create good content. And that's not just for Solana development stuff. That's true for any kind of content that you might want to create. So why do we need good content? Well, first of all, to spread the word. I mean, we all know that Solana is cool, otherwise you wouldn't be here. But for people to find out about that, there needs to be good content that gets their attention and that drags them in. Then, education. I mean, to fight all the misinformation and to actually get people to use the chain and to get them to do the things that they want to do, there needs to be good content that educates people. And then, of course, we want the people to stick around, so the retention is important. So we need to constantly keep pushing new content for the people to stay interested and not give up. Right. So how do we do it? How do we create great content? Here are just some of my tips for you. And the first one is just get started. The number one most important thing if you want to create good content is to create content. And of course, you're not going to be perfect from the first minute. I mean, I made my first ever YouTube video back in 2010. It's still online. You can still find that somewhere. And that video is horrible for so many reasons. The editing is bad. I was really not confident. Like, but all of those things I learned along the way. And now I'm in the position where I am, and I can basically call this my full-time job, and I love it. So you just need to get started. And you need to find your format, because there's many different kinds of content. Of course, there's you know, text, then there's video, there's short-form video, there's long-form video. That's the kind of stuff that I make. I prefer to make my videos hours long because I have so many things to say. But the thing is, we need all of that. We need the shorts, we need the long videos, we need the text, because people have different ways how they learn. And so everybody should find the thing that they are most comfortable with, and therefore all of those things need to coexist. So you want to find the format that works best for you, that you want to create, and you have the easiest time to create. I'm not a good writer, but I'm fairly decent with cameras. Now, the next thing I want you to do is experiment, right? You want to do things maybe a bit different and, you know, just play with the things that you have at your disposal. I'm making Solana content. I was playing around with Solana Pay. I was playing around with compressed NFTs. So I decided, hey, I'm going to take those primitives and build myself a nice little minting thing that people can scan QR codes in my videos and then they get their CNFT minted in their wallet. That was an experiment. By the way, you can scan this, you should get that thumbnail. <laughs> and I stopped doing that because it didn't really change how many people were watching my videos and from talking to people, it didn't really make much of a difference in their experience. So I dropped it because it was a lot of work. But I tried it out. If I wouldn't have tried it out, I would never know. So you just got to experiment. Again, find out what works for you and what doesn't. And that already brings me to the next point. As much as you can, 
do the things that you want to do. This is really important because it keeps you motivated. If you have to do something, oh, I need to make a video about that topic now, uh, um, then the content is just not going to be as good because you're not behind it. But if you really enjoy to do the thing, like you really want to make the content about this, you, like, for me, for instance, it was building a wallet drainer. I just really wanted to do that, right? So, so I did. I built this thing, I tried it out, it worked, it worked way too well. That's a whole different story. And I got a few nice videos out of that. And also, if you've seen the talk at the Innovator stage earlier from Phantom, that's basically a direct result from me building this. Anyway, so I do the things that I'm really interested in. And if you do the things that you're really interested in, then we just create great content. And if nobody's interested in a certain topic, well, then maybe we don't need content about it. And my last and possibly most important tip is just be yourself. Be authentic, right? If you pretend to be someone else, People will notice and they feel weird when they watch your content or read it. It's like, yes, I mean, it's good content, but there's something off. So you really want to be yourself. And that's why I am not at all afraid that somebody will come along and create better content than me, because there is nobody like me. Only I can create the content I create because of my personality. And I'm not only that YouTuber, I also make music, I like to sing. I would say I'm quite funny. And I do have that technical background because I studied computer science for a while. And all of those things make me me. And so I can create that sort of content. That's my USP. And some AI might come along and try to do the same thing, but I'll still be a better me than any AI. At least, that's my opinion. We'll see. Bring it on, AIs. Yeah. So, that's pretty much it. I mean, I would love to keep talking about content creation and Solana and all of the fun things that I do, but this is just a short little keynote presentation. So, if you want to come talk to me, find me, ask questions. I'll be around. And this is my link tree. Find me online. And yeah, I just invite you to create great content and bring it on. Thank you.